Hi boys and girls, I'm Professor Pat and today we're going to talk about the national debt. Okay, now we're going to figure out what each and every one of us will owe on the national debt. So everyone grab their calculator. Now calculator is one of the greatest inventions known to mankind because it does math real fast, real easy, and very accurate. In fact, you don't even need to know arithmetic at all. All you need to know is what buttons to push. Okay, now we're going to turn the, button, the, the computer on, the calculator. Now we're going to, if the national debt stands at 11 trillion dollars. So we're going to push the number one two times. One, one. That's the number 11. We're going to add three zeros. One, two, three. That's 11,000, boys and girls. Now how much is 11,000? If you had 11,000 candy bars in your closet, your closet would be completely full. You wouldn't have room for, for clothes. In fact, you could eat candy until your teeth fall out. But we're not there yet, boys and girls. Add three more zeros. One, two, three. That's 11 million. Now, zeros before the number doesn't mean anything, but zeros after the number, that means something. And this is, national debt is a big something. Okay, now we're going to add three more zeros. One, two, three. That's 11 billion. Now, how much is a billion? If each and one of you owned, had a billion dollars, and you were going to spend a thousand dollars a day on candy, video games, and toys, you know how long it takes you to spend a billion dollars? Three thousand years, boys and girls. You'd be older than your grandparents. But we're not there yet, boys and girls. We've got to add three more zeros for 11 trillion. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Guess what, boys and girls? Our national debt is, that number is too big for a calculator. So let's put that off to the side. Two points. Okay, now we're going to do this in the long division. Okay, everyone come over here. Everyone grab a pencil and a piece of paper. And we're going to, this is our national debt right here, boys and girls. Now we're going to divide it by 300 million, because that's the number of people that's in the United States. So we're going to take the number 300. That's 300 right there. There's a thousand. And there's a million. That's a big number, isn't it? Okay, now we're going to do, right, there's 11, our national debt. That's 11. That's thousand. That's million. That's billion. Okay, we're running out of room here, aren't we? Okay, now we're going to cut this down to size. Don't get rid of some of these zeros. Cut this one out. Cut this one out. Get rid of these zeros. Now we can manage it. Wait a minute. I forgot something, boys and girls. You ever heard the term tip of the iceberg? Well, this is the tip of the iceberg. This is not the true number. Uh, when you see an iceberg, you only see 10% above water. 90% is below water. So think of the government as a notion of red ink, probably, and you got more debt underneath. Now there's other debts we haven't talked about. We got trade debt, which stands at seven trillion dollars. So let's add some of these numbers up, okay? Now we're not going to add the zeros right now because that's just way too much. So we're going to put down eleven. That's going to be trillion, but let's say that's going to be a national debt. So we'll put down ND. Now we still have trade debt. And we'll just put down T for trade. Now we spend a trillion dollars every year on trade. So let's figure it takes about 20 years to get that finally scored away. We're going to add 20. And we're going to put down FT for future trade. Okay. Now we have a term called infrastructure, infrastructure, which is roads and bridges and schools. And you heard the term London bridges falling down. Well, some of our bridges are falling down. They had a bridge that fell down in Minnesota. So that's going to cost another $13 trillion. And we're going to put down roads and bridges. Okay. Now we got a big one. It's called Social Security and Medicare. That's $53 trillion, boys and girls. And it's called unfunded debt. What does that mean? That means we don't have to pay it. You do, but we don't. Okay, let's add that on there. Okay, and that's S&M. There's another term, S&M, so we're going to talk about that another time. Okay, so let's add these up. I can see some of you boys and girls are having problems with this. So let's put the pencil and paper away, and I'll just tell you the simple instructions how to do this. Uh, I'm going to make this so simple even a caveman can understand it. That's a joke, boys and girls. Forget about that. And this is a simple way of you guys paying off the debt. Okay? 
anyone over the age of 10 who need to get a find, find a full-time job. Playtime's over with, boys and girls. Now you're going to say, what about school? School is very important. Education is very important. You want you to get the best education you can so you can get the best job you can. But you're going to say, well, how can we go to school and work at the same time? There's a term you've probably never heard of. It's called second shift. It usually starts about 3 p.m. to about 11 p.m. Some of them start at 4 to midnight. Okay, so when you come home from school, it's very important. You do your homework. You might grab, grab something to eat. Then you're going to have to pack a lunch. You're going to have to put uh, lunch to go. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a cookie, or a carton of milk. Because the factory won't let mom come down and cook dinner for you. So you probably have enough time to go outside, throw the ball up in the air. Maybe you have time to catch it, maybe not. Get to work. Now you're going to say, what's my future going to look like? This is very important, boys and girls. It's important that you get married and have lots of kids. Because the more kids, we're going to have to pay off this debt. Uh, I do have some bad news, though. Because half your wages will go towards paying off the debt, you won't be able to afford a house. Uh, I even got bad news for you is that you're going to be living with mom and dad and probably grandma and grandpa. And you're going to be very upset and you have every right to be upset because they put you in this mess. Okay, now you're going to be working to about the age of 80 and when you go into your new phase of life. Uh, no, boys and girls, not Social Security. Social Security went out with the dinosaurs. The fact that dinosaurs might come out back before the Social Security wealth. Okay, no, your new phrase in life, phrase, is welcome to Walmart. Okay, uh, when you, it's a real easy job. You, when someone comes in the door, you say, welcome to Walmart. In fact, they're a nice company, they'll probably let you sit down. In fact, it's so easy, you can say it with your eyes closed. Welcome to Walmart. Welcome to Walmart. See how easy that is, boys and girls? Now, you're going to say, this ain't fair. Well, life ain't fair, boys and girls. Get over with it. Uh, but I do have good news, though. If you continue like this, this is hard work, you have paid off the interest on the debt. So your great-great-grandkids will pay off the debt. Uh, reminds me of a time when my mama used to tell me, she, says, she used to give me advice, she says, Smile, son, things will get worse. You know she was right. I smiled and they got worse. So there you have it, boys and girls. The national debt, how to pay it off. Keep smiling. Bye-bye.